Moving week seven in the NFL here at SBR Forum Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with Jeff Cadillac from jeffcadillac.com. Jeff, thanks for being back with us this week. Thanks for having me, Peter. All right, uh, before we get into this game, uh, give a little plug for jeffcadillac.com. Well, jeffcadillac.com, I analyze all the games, all the NFL games every week. I post them on uh, my website. They're free of charge. You like the games you like. You discard the ones you don't like. And also, I put my best bet every week on Twitter on Friday at Jeff Cadillac one. And so far this year, I'm three and three in the best bets. All right. That's great. Three and three. All right. Uh, Houston at KC. Now, KC minus six and a half, right? Now, last week was kind of a, you know, a, a, a telling week for both these teams. You know, KC was a, was a near 10-point home favorite against Oakland, and some people were saying that, you know, that's just too much. They don't have the offense to get that kind of cover. Of course, they did get the, uh, the big win and cover. They're starting to have, like, look like what looks like a huge home field advantage. The noise was, was you know, it was a rabid crowd. Noise is very loud. And last week, uh, Houston, you know, big favorite at home over uh, St. Louis, and a lot of people were saying this is going to be the week, if ever, for them to bounce back. And, of course, they got completely embarrassed and blown out. Now, for this game, uh, it's not sure if Schaub is going to start. T.J. Yates might start at quarterback. You know, I look at this game, Houston at some point is going to turn it around. They have, uh, you know, a lot of their problems have been caused by turnovers and penalties, and those are very correctable things. I'm not sure, though, if this is the game, you know, where it's going to happen. Uh, Casey obviously has a very strong home edge now, and even though they are limited uh, offensively, their defense is just going to be amped up to stop whatever Houston throws at them. You know, would I like it at seven? No, I don't think so. At six and a half, I'm kind of tempted to take KC here. What do you think, Jeff Cadillac? Well, I got to agree with you on one thing. Houston, I think, is going to turn it around. Mm -hmm. But yeah. uh, I, I gave it a lot of thought, and I looked at a lot of statistics, and I don't think it's going to be this week. Mm -hmm. I mean, last week you got J.J. Watt. Didn't even have any tackles. I mean, has he given up? Uh, you know, the defense looked like they gave up in that game. And, and they got, you know, that week I definitely thought that Houston was going to turn around themselves. And I had Houston against the Rams, and, and the Rams looked like gangbusters last week. But now that Houston's going into King, Kansas City, Andy Reid has this team thinking differently than it has before. Uh, they're not used to winning like this in Kansas City, and he's got them focused on a week-to-week -week basis. And I'll, I'll tell you something. There's a lot of things that are pointing towards uh, Kansas City on this. They, their defense is unbelievable. They're dangerous on special teams. They have Dexter McCluster. Every week he gives Kansas City great field position. And when you, when you start out in the other team's territory, that gives you a feeling as like, you know, you can go in there and score touchdowns at will. But Houston right now is in a state of flux. The turnover ratio also here. Houston is minus 12. Kansas City is plus 12. It tells you right there that Houston has a problem holding on to the ball. And K Kansas City is all about ball control. You got Jamal Charles is having a nice season. Um, you know, I thought Kansas City is definitely going to hit a speed bump, but it's not going to be this week. Yeah. I think they're going to go in. They're going to control the ball. Andy Reid is going to is going to uh, keep these guys feeling good about themselves. And I'm laying the six and a half against Houston. Yeah, I like Kansas City. I got to say, I'm kind of agreeing with you here. I mean, you know, Kansas City is riding, like you said, a huge high at home. They're going to be implying, you know, intense pressure all game long, buoyed by the crowd, just like they did uh, last week. And I definitely would not want to bet against that. I'm also thinking maybe a shot with the under 40 because, again, you know, their defense is so strong, offense so limited, and especially if Yates starts for a Houston, probably a bit of a conservative uh, game plan that they'll run as well. So I, I probably would take the under 40 if I had to uh, bet this game at all at this moment. But Jeff Cadillac from jeffcadillac.com taking a KC minus six and a half. Thanks.